The journey began with stunningly clear skies, but the weather had other plans in store for me. I had come to the Fuji Five Lakes area, which has among the best views of Mount Fuji in the country. I would be doing some camping at the rather secluded but somewhat legendary location. Not everything goes as planned. Arriving in the area, I quickly left the bustling Kawaguchiko behind in the bus that dropped me off at not Lake Motosu, but Lake Shoji. The campsite I was targeting did not have bus access and would require quite a bit of walking, but I wanted to do some actual hiking. Beginning from the shores of Lake Shoji, the plan is to hike up to the Panoramadai lookout point before connecting to the road for a lakeside stroll towards the legendary Koan campsite. After spending the night, I would hike back out along the same shores, but this time making for town, from which I could board an outbound bus. So far, the forest is very simple, very green, but there are already some little hints of autumn that you can see. I'm gonna pick up some of these, might be able to use them as tinder. Well, the uphill has been relatively gentle, but continuous. Arriving at Panoramadai, 
I was greeted with a wide, captivating view of the surrounding landscape. Oof, it's better than I expected. Except that Fuji has a hat over its face, so I can't see it. Mesmerizing even with Mount Fuji hidden, this was a pleasant, sunny and breezy platform. A perfect lunch spot. So it's kind of hard to see, but that, that body of water there, that's Lake Motosu. With a decent bit of hiking left to do, I packed up to go. I would say that was worth it, easily. Even with Fuji being covered up like that. It's a shame because it was completely clear this morning. But hey, it was good enough. That's the shine of the water behind the trees. That is a road. If I can just get out on that road, it would be a shortcut. But there is no way for me to get there. And so, well, back on the trail. Mm -hmm. Spoke too soon. This looks like you can get me out. Yes. Oh yeah. Woohoo. So I had planned to exit the trail at this point and I was worried for a second there thinking that maybe there was no connection between the trail and the road but we are out and now it's just a leisurely but long walk along the lakeside till we get to the camping grounds. The lakeside was unbelievably peaceful, but Fuji kept its head in the clouds. Fuji san ga boshi kabutteru. Fuji san boshi kabutteru. Aru aru. That's the campsite right there.
Okay, just registered. I stroll contentedly towards the campsite, looking forward to an idyllic time. Little did I know that my evening was going to be beset with unexpected challenges. As I moved to set up camp, I quickly realized that the ground was too hard for my tent pegs to penetrate. The clouds parted briefly for a stunning view of Mount Fuji, but dusk was approaching. I was flustered by my difficulty with my shelter. In the end, using some string and rocks, I was able to improvise, but the episode certainly left a mark on my psyche. It's rather unusual facility to have at this kind of ground, which is a bathing facility. I'm in, man. I need that bath. So, I am now washed and it's completely dark already. <sighs> oh, time to go back. The bath had improved my spirits and I settled down for a 10 side cup of tea. I also had an interesting task before me. Well, don't tell anyone, but this is actually the first time I'm trying to start a fire. I was going to try to start a fire for the first time. Tragically, my inexperience and the strong winds that evening made it an ill-fated endeavor. Well, I'm pretty bummed out to be honest. It didn't work. I actually got a fire kind of going for a while, but then it didn't last. It's so windy here. Oh man, so much for fire start dinner. Pretty bomb. I actually brought a lot of food today, as I usually want to. But man, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm just kind of tired to be honest, mentally. Things started out so good today too. So it's a windy night. I guess lakeside will always be windy. Not too cold yet. But it's incredibly cloudy. You can't see Mount Fuji, you can't see the stars either, not even the moon. I'll take what I have, a warm meal, with the sound of the waves, which is very pleasant actually, it's a nice time. Maybe sometimes it's about checking your expectations a bit. Even when you're down, usually there's something, more than one something, that it's still there to be enjoyed. Silver lining, as they say. The clouds obscured a potential moonlit view of Mount Fuji, but they were stained a deep, melancholic violet and were beautiful in their own right. You know, it is not all that bad at all. The moon has come out, the clouds have retreated a little bit and it's amazing how bright the moon is. You can actually see 
the moonlight glistening off the waters. Makes you kind of understand why people have thought that that lunar light had mystical qualities. It really does seem mystical. A silver tail light in the night. I'm in my town now. It's very warm inside. Feeling rather comfortable. I think I'll try to get myself a good night's sleep and then we'll see what happens in the morning. So it's a misty, cloudy morning and Fuji's existence is basically wiped out by all of that fog but it's beautiful in its own right Reporting a new discovery. The toilet has seat warmers. We've a larger pack. So those are the sausages that I brought, hoping to kind of cook them over the fire. Since I can't do that, I'm gonna pour stew over it. Instant stew. Just what you need while camping. I know what this looks like to you, but it looks pretty good to me, son. Part of the joy of camping is the license to make unthinkable combinations of cheap food and have them taste so much better than they have any right to. I do need to get a better tent. All that trouble setting up yesterday really gave me a lot of stress after all of that hiking. The way you deal with stress, I suppose, is to kind of shrink in as much as you can. Don't be thinking about all of the, all of the things you're missing out on and all of the things that could have gone better. And so, vitalized by an incredibly peaceful morning, I packed up my tent and made ready to leave.
So, about one hour or so hike to the bus stop. And there the trip ends. So I'm a place, I'm at a place called Yurari, it's a hot spring facility. Because if, if you can get in a hot spring post time, then it's mandatory. And it was pretty good. You can actually see Mount Fuji from the outdoor bar. A bit expensive, but it was very nice. So this is a Yamanashi dish, it's called Hoto. It's kind of a flat noodle with kind of a tomato, kind of a pumpkin based broth. Not the best I've had, but it's not bad. I'm digging in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 